We are joined by Congress spokesperson Sama Ram Mohan Reddy Garo. A huge allegation by BRS party, BJP party in the Amrut scam. They allege that office of uh, profit laws have been violated by the chief minister himself, where his uh, brother-in-law has been given tender in this particular Amrut, uh, you know, scheme that was bought by central government. What do you have to say? There are no relations as such. Okay, uh, RCM Revan Reddy Garo has got no brother-in-law in the name of Srijan Reddy. Point number one and point number two. I don't know why KATR is habituated in making all such baseless, senseless allegations against Congress party. He comes and states a number 8,888. I don't know whether it looked fancy for him, but there weren't any, you know, that amount. The tenders were called for an amount of 3,515 crores. Okay. And point number two is, Srujan Reddy, the name what KTR is using, is the son-in-law of his own party's MLA. Upendra Reddy. So, we don't have any objection. We don't have any objection if they want to bring in their MLA's name or their son-in-law's names. But before making such baseless allegations against Congress party or, you know, on corruption, please see your backs first. Okay, everybody knows how transparent BRS was in making coca pet land auctions and we know how Kaleshwaram is doing, you know, how, what phone tapping is doing today. And all the... Decay time of your ruling is full of corruptions and commissions. So you don't stand, you don't stand to you know criticize or comment or pass remarks against Congress Party. So basically, you deny that uh, the office of uh, profit laws violation is not done here. There's no relative, and all this is baseless. Totally, totally, it's a baseless allegation. And it, since it's a central scheme, it is open for central government. If there are any lacunas or if there are any lapses or any irregularities, it is open for the central government. Vigilance is there and everybody are there. People won't sit quiet. So BRS, we have seen. BRS is calling for a, a probe into this particular issue. BJP says that state government must write to the CVC. So is the state government ready to write to the CVC regarding an investigation? In this particular See, for all baseless allegations, we should not react. Okay, if there is some sensible argument and if it is palpable, then definitely government will react and that immense pressure will be on the government. But before making such allegations, first of all, you, you have to think at least of making 8,888 uh, crore rupees. Since it is looking fancy, just I, I want to call in CVC, I want to write a letter. Even they asked for inquiry of C, uh, CBI inquiries into each and every aspect. When, when they go to school, they ask for CBI inquiry. When they go to some toilet, they ask for CBI inquiry. Why? Because just to pass, you know, allegations against Congress party, they are habituated in calling in for CBI inquiry. Other than that, there is no argument at all. There is no point at all. It is open. It is very much palpable. The tenders are palpable. It is not a secret document or any classified document here. It is an open document. People will compare the first phase of auctions and the second uh, first phase of tenders and the second phase of tenders. We have saved five, 54 uh, crores, uh, 49 lakh rupees of uh, public money by our tender process, which is far less than the tender process what you people have called in. That is on November 29th during your government. Can I say that, you know, 55 crore rupees, you know, they have come up with more amount. That means you people have committed uh, corruption in this. What is this? All baseless allegations. Thank you so much for speaking with us. So this was Congress spokesperson Sama Ramon Reddy Garut, camera person Damodar Abdul Bashir Hyderabad.